And it's the time of year where celebrities and big name art enthusiasts descend on Miami Beach for the annual Art Basel Fair. This year marks the 21st year that the event has been held in South Florida and the popularity seems to be growing every year. So joining me now from Miami is Nate Freeman. He is a culture correspondent for Vanity Fair magazine. I gotta make a confession, Nate, I've been calling it Art Basel for a very long time. And so every time I have to say, I think it's like Basel, I have to think about it. It's not rolling off the tongue. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. It's <laughs> it's not Basel. It's Basel. But Basel. It's just the prestige of the Swiss town. So this is the 21st year for the one in Miami. You're all grown up, Miami Basel. But I, I would argue that the one in Miami might actually be more famous than the original one, which is in Switzerland, which is what it's named after. I bet you there's a lot of people in Miami that don't know anything about that. Why do you think this particular art celebration has become so popular? It was just a phenomenon basically from the get-go. It, 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 it immediately represented the Americas. They didn't have a legitimate art fair that represented North and South America. And as soon as you know the Art Basel team came to Miami, they realized that is the fulcrum point for North and South America. And they were able to bridge so many different art worlds together here in Miami. Uh, it's just the perfect place to have an international art fair. And it is Miami, baby, Miami Beach. Um, and yeah. so, you know, that helps too. So I have to admit that I kind of feel a little intimidated by it. I feel like I'm not cool enough for it. So, I, but, but, but still the art is really interesting and often there's kind of like a pop art bent to it. Mm -hmm. Do these events, make art more accessible or more exclusive? I think what Art Basel wants to do is make it more accessible. They want as many people to come to the fair as possible. They want people to see what's at the fair on Instagram. They want people to talk about what's at the fair. Of course, there is an air of exclusivity. Only certain people get to go to the uh, VIP previews on Wednesday and Thursday. But still, this is about people from all over the world who are selling art in, you know, in Brazil or Canada or, you know, uh, Portland, Oregon. You want people like that to come to Miami and show their artwork that they are you know, supporting in their communities mm -hmm. and put it on a very large stage. So it's not just for only the cool kids. People like me can go down there and feel like I got <laughs> a place. Well, you know, like I said, <laughs> The first two days are VIP only, and right. Jeff Bezos was walking the fair yesterday. So it is for the the the, the top, top, top also. But right. I think that our Bob wants the communities to really benefit from this fair. The cool kids with um, deep pockets. Okay, really quickly, give me a guide then. Yeah. Real quick highlight, uh, what we should be looking out for. Are there any themes that we can expect this year, considering what's happening in the world? There are certain themes, political themes, you know, themes in terms of what mediums are really represented. You'll see a lot of big paintings here in Art Falls, Miami Beach. It's, uh, you know, it's a fun town. It's a town that loves color and energy. And so a lot of galleries really prioritize large scale painting. You'll see, you know, really great big works by Cecily Brown and Gerhard Richter at the Gagosian booth. You'll see a really great Marlene Dumont at the David Werner booth. Uh, you'll also see a lot of really amazing emerging artwork from galleries in the position section, and that's really incredible. And all over town, there's so many great you know installations. There's amazing shows at the Rubel Museum and the ICA Miami and the De La Cruz Collection. Uh, it's it's hard to pinpoint just a single theme when there's so much to see in Miami. Right, right. I love it, Nate. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here.